So, um, how can we actually get this equation in line? Well, um, there's two methods. You can use a spreadsheet or you can use a calculator. Um, now, obviously, you're not going to be able to bring a spreadsheet into your exam. I will show you that at the end, though. But here are the calculator instructions. And let's um, practice along by putting in some values. So um, it will be a similar method to generating the uh, correlation coefficient using R, except right at the end, we do two different steps. Just something to note, the values that you're going to generate, um, these are the A and B values. Now, the B is the um, gradient, like so M is what you're used to seeing. And the A value that you generate is going to be the Y intercept or C. So it's easy to be a bit confusing with the different letters that they use in things. Um, but just be aware of that as you're calculating these. Okay. Um, so the B is your gradient and A is your um, Y intercept. So let's go ahead and calculate these. Now I've gone to the uh, liberty of getting some values that we uh, calculated in class with our heights and arm spans. And we know there should be a general correlation between that. Um, where we have um, our heights and arm spans being pretty similar, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these methods here together. So firstly, we put our mode and then press 2 stat and we want the A plus BX. So that's 2 over here. And then we get these um, two columns. I'm going to put my X and Y values. So that's my heights and arm spans. So 160, we'll just go ahead and put all these numbers in. So you can see why um, using a spreadsheet, this is a lot easier because you have to input all these just manually, like you probably collect it from somewhere else, um, but that's okay, we'll work with it. So now that I've got all these values, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate the um, equation of the line of uh, best fit using the least squares regression uh, method. So the way I do it is I'm gonna press AC to remove my values, then I press shift one, and then uh, five for regression analysis. And you see we've got these two A and B values. So remember, what do these represent? The B is the gradient value, and the A is the y-intercept. So the B, we should hope, is pretty close to positive one because we know there's a pretty um, strong positive correlation between these. So let's have a look. So the B value should hopefully be close to one. Yeah, 0 0.95, that's not too bad. Um, we can just round that off to however many decimal places we want. So B is equal to 0 0.9562. Do, 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 do. Let's just go to 2DP, so 0 0.96. And then let's go ahead and find the A value as well. So Shift 1, 5 regression, and then A, and find that. And so that's our y-intercept. So that's A is equal to 6.74626. So it's going to be 6.75 to 2DP. And so the equation of our line of best fit, so the equation will be equal to y is equal to 0 0.96 plus 6.75. Okay, so that's our um, equation of the line of best fit using this um, least squares regression method on our calculator. So uh, the next questions are a similar idea. We're just going to be inputting those values in and finding out, um, yeah, what is the equation of the line of best fit using this method? for um, these information that we collected in class. So here we've got the hours of sport and resting BPM. So we'd expect there to be a um, negative correlation there because the more sport you do, usually the um, lower your resting beats per minute. Have a go at this one, see how you go. So make sure to clear your data. Um, so the way I can do is just, if you just go mode and stat, and then you just go to that same option here and should clear all the values, and then we can just put them all in, okay? And now that you put all the values in, then we can go ahead and calculate. Just the thing to note, um, you probably won't get this many values in an exam question. They'll probably be less than 10. Um, so this is just something that we collect in class, so hopefully it's a bit more meaningful, right? So let's see if there's actually a relationship between these. So let's go shift one, uh, five for the regression analysis, and I'm gonna calculate my B value. I typically have to round these off because they're going to be. I typically have to round these off because they're going to be decimal values. So let's go ahead and calculate B. That's going to be equal to. Oh, all right. So that's going to be negative five five seven. And A. Let's go ahead and calculate that as well. All right. So A is going to be eighty-four point five one seven five four three. That's 84.52, okay? So our equation will be y equals to bx 
plus a, so that's negative 4.57 plus 80x plus 84.52. These were to two decimal places, by the way, as well. Okay. Uh, one thing I'll note though is that you notice that um, the um, the gradient can be negative um, in this case, and it can be um, pretty high values as well. And that's because it's not the same as the correlation coefficient. It's just um, using that in the calculation. So it's okay if it's beyond negative one and one. Okay. All right, last but not least, um, how many hours do you spend on your phone each day on average? And what is your typing speed on your phone? So you'd expect it to be some kind of relationship between them. And um, we can find out that there um, is a correlation. So you check that if you... Um, all right, so part three, um, we want to see if there's a relationship between the hours you spend on your phone and your typing speed. So I guess you'd make sense if that if you're typing on your phone a lot, then you get faster at typing. Um, let's go and find out if that's actually the case. So last but not least, we've got our um, calculator method here. So I'm going to put in all our values. So let's go ahead and go into our mode, stat mode, A plus BX. And I'm just going to put these all in. Okay, I've got all of them in. I've got an AC, clear it, shift, one, and then I want the regression analysis, that's five, and then we calculate our A and B values now. So B is going to be equal to, that's my gradient, remember? So two, um, thinking 3.69184, lots of decimals, let's just round it to two decimal places, 3.69 to 2dp. Okay, and then A is going to be equal to, let's go back, shift, one, and five, and then one again. Okay, that's gonna be 37.3627. And so that's 37.36 to two dp. And putting that all together, our equation of the line is going to be y is equal to 3.69 plus 37. Oh, my calculator's hiding that, plus 37.36. Okay, awesome. And that's our equation of the line. Um, using this calculator method.